Hundreds of GM car enthusiasts gathered at the Glendale Avenue plant to display their vehicles for the 21st annual Show and Shine event. So it actually started as a collection of employees that had Corvettes that just wanted to get together um, and show off their vehicles. And I think the first year it started with only 16 Corvettes. From there it developed into a community event. So all of the proceeds from today's event go to United Way Niagara. We have vendors, we have community partners, we have the GM brands. Uh, so it's just a chance for the community to come out and see what we do at GM, see what we do at the plant here, and uh, see some of our products. So the public will actually get a chance to see a wide variety of different GM models. Yes, definitely. So we right behind me here I have um, some of the 2019 and 2020 uh, fleet vehicles. You'll see a wide variety of historical vehicles. I think our one of the earliest ones I saw in registration was from 1937 all the way up to 2020. So you can see the entire history of GM here. So how many participants do you have? When we did our last registration count, our pre-registration was at 340, but I think that we topped out at about 500 today. So. Like I said, the proceeds from today's event go to United Way Niagara. We have a huge partnership with them. Over the last uh, 60 years, we've given them over $30 million from payroll deduction and events like this that we've held. So Tanya, you have been a visitor to this event for many years, but this is your first time actually being here with United Way. Tell me your thoughts and feelings of the event and what you're hearing from people walking past your booth today. Well, so far I'm having a really great time. It's a positive vibe here at the show. The cars are amazing. Uh, we're getting great support uh, for our raffle draw here at United Bay today. And the GM has done a great job putting this together. Can't go wrong, blue skies. You know, we're having a great time today and hopefully everyone will come out and support. What does it mean to you and your clients to have them so supportive? Well, GM has been such a great supporter of us. We couldn't do all that we do at United Way without them. They are big supporters of all of our community partners. They're regularly having raffle draws and they do all kinds of community outreach. And today we're raising money for our Backpacks for Kids program and it just means so much. So Chris, I hear you have been a long time GM car owner. Tell me about that first purchase you made. Uh, I was about 17. It was a 66 Beaumont also and uh, I raced it for three or four years and it got expensive, so I got, over, got out of it and uh, got married, had kids. Now that the kids are gone, I'm back into it. So I hear that you had a search to find another 1966 Beaumont and you found it. What was your feeling when you finally came across the car? When I came across that car, I told my wife, I said, Jan, I says, I have to get that car. It's a dream of mine to get one back. My original car, the guy wouldn't sell it back to me. It's still in the falls, but he wouldn't sell it. And when I found this one, I said, that's it. I got my car back. So you've had it for about seven or eight years. What does it mean to bring it here today to the, to the show and shine and have people come and see it? Well, it's a very rare car. Um, there was only 120 made, and I like coming to the GM show because they know how rare it is, and uh, it's good to show it off. We have 26 awards. Um, we have award categories, uh, best in show, engine compartment, engineering pick. It's employees from the plants that are experts in that specific uh, field and they come out and they'll do judging and then we have 26 awards uh, to hand out at the end and they're actually made from our 6.2 liter uh, pistons that are made in the plants. Over 500 GM car owners helped to make the 21st annual show and shine event a huge success. Look forward to August 2020 when Canada's largest GM-powered car show returns to St. Catharines. Reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.